All right. We're looking pretty decent here. Come on. Nice. Our Gnar is doing very good. See, that wasn't fast enough. That's alright, we'll get here next round. Come on, Edral. Go. Oh shit, where did he go? He went right into them. Oh, he's, he's still alive. What? He does the card of with his... Oh my god, this guy is morphing. What? And we will get the level 3 MF here. As well. Let's go. It Jin would be very good here, but I don't think we will be able to find him. Go as well. Do your thing. Yeah. Very good. Very good. He's doing a lot there. Nice. So you want to know how to play big shots, man? All right, let me let me show you the way. The thing you want to do here is to start with a super fun opener, all right? With Lilia and Kenner because super fun. You will need super fun here, okay? It's pretty strong. All right, you should aim to find at least a Lilia and Kenner at the start of the game. They are pretty strong and they will save you some health. Later, add Ignar here. Alright, if you find Ignar, add him. You can add a Corky. This is how your board will, how your team will look like in at the start of the game. Okay, something like this. At stage two. Alright. Later, you should aim to find. A Kaisa. Alright, find the Kaisa. And you will be very good with big shots here. You will do some decent amount of damage. You will have two KDAs. Right. Later you, when you level up in you know, now you're level five. If you find a Nico at level 5, it's very possible for you to find a Nico here. Right. If you find a freaking Nico, you should replace Kenan with Nico. Now you have 3 KDAs as well. Place your champions on their KDA things, you know, placement there. Next, what do you want to add here? Ideally, you want to add set or some frontlining. He's a musher. It goes very well with you, with your Gunnar, right? He will be very strong. He will tank for you, and you will do some decent amount of damage. And if you can, man, I know it's very very hard nowadays to find a misfortune, but you want to replace Corgi with misfortune here, all right? Ideally. You will have a headliner Kaisa. If you don't, please, it's better to, don't, to do not have a headliner go fast level 8. Alright, you should go fast level 8 and try to find a headliner Ezreal. And replace your misfortune, no, sorry, your Kaisa with a headliner Ezreal. If he has the the freaking big shot will you will be great if he has the hair seal you will be still great because you will get it because you have set here all right and now you have two big shots all right you will be like this and when you reach level eight you will, before you find this result you want to add another bruiser here i like to add olaf here all right it's pretty good it gives you pet kill because you want to, to add another sentinel 
Alright? Mordekaiser. You can add Mordekaiser here. If you find him in Mordekaiser, place him. It's pretty good actually, he will tank a lot for you. So, this is how your team should look like at level 8, man. Something like this. Your team should look like this at level 8. Alright. That's your team here. You will have Ezreal and Misfortune doing the damage. And this, this guy is tanking for you. So, the ideal thing here would be to replace Misfortune with a Jin. Alright. The best thing you should do is replace him with a Jin. Replace here with a Jin, actually. And now, for items. Sorry. What you want to do is to the first three cost unit yet that you three are here, or if you find a headliner Gnar, a headliner Nico, a headliner Mordekaiser even, a headliner Set, you should find a headliner of these champions right here, or of these champions, doesn't really matter. You want to buy him and make him frontline for you. You don't necessarily need to find a headliner Israel, alright? A headliner Israel is pretty strong. But if you find a headliner of your frontline, buy him as well. He will be a great tank for you. Also, let me let me tell you about the items. I like to give Israel your first priority item should be this. Alright. You want him to shred the honor more of the enemies. Alright. This is a pretty good item here for him. His mana cost is very low here. So you don't, he will ult pretty often, alright, you, do, you don't, uh, you want to make sure when he ults, he ults hard. Another good item is Giant Slayer here for him, okay, if you cannot make Giant Slayer, this is pretty good as well, an infinity. With this, he will get a lot of critical strike and his ulti will critical as well and will be able to one shot the backline here. And I like to give him some life steal as well. Alright, if you don't find an infinity here or a blue thruster, if you are not able to find a blue thruster, a hot is very good actually on here. Okay, I want to give him a little bit of survivability here. A hot is actually, I like, I like this setup a lot better because he goes 100% critical here. For Jin now, you want to give him this item here. Or a blue buff. You want to make sure he has mana, some attack speed, right? And now for front landing, any tank item will work, right? This is a very good combo here that we want to play with. Experiment with it. It's pretty fun. It's not that popular. The champions here are not that popular if you exclude the super fans. Um, and I think you can do it, man. I'm, I'm really confident you can do it. So, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like. Alright? And thank you for watching here. Have a nice day and try to climb with this.